this is Dustin with Home Mender, and today we are going to be turning this hideous kitchen into this. Not as hard as you would think, and not nearly as expensive. I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's get to it. So we got all the cabinets ripped down yesterday, covering up all holes and making it nice and pretty. Now what's cool about these shelves is it didn't cost very much to make. What you see is about $150. We'll be using little corner shelf supports to support these. There's a couple different styles at the box stores. Some of them look kind of country. Some of the other like hobby stores have ones, but they're really expensive, like up to $12, $15 a piece. I just took some one by two. So they're gonna support the shelf like that, super sturdy. And I made 23 of them for about 20 bucks. I'm gonna show you how to do that. We're using 12 inch deep shelves. So we're gonna want about nine inches of support underneath it. So I'm gonna cut a nine and a six out of this, and then we're gonna cut up one for the 45. Go ahead and 45 one end. I'm set at 45 here. We're gonna flip the piece over, and from the outside, measure five and three quarters. Now let's put it together. Now I'm gonna take my nine and cap over my six. Glue the end of the six. Got my inch and a quarter non-wood splitting screws. Now we take our 45 piece, glue both ends. There you go, make sure your angles are right. This should fit up perfectly. And screw those from the top. Perfect. That saved us about six bucks. Now just set you up an assembly line and get to work. Got some five minute mud mixed up here. Just gonna throw another skim coat on the wall, make them nice and smooth. Looking good. All right, so we've got all of our cabinets off, the walls are repaired, and they are painted. So now we're gonna get ready to hang the shelves. I went through and marked my studs. I wanna know where my studs are when I'm doing this. Makes it really easy and make sure that your shelf's gonna stay on the wall. Now it looks like somebody has hidden some AC lines up in this little, trying to box it out up here in the soffit. So I'm gonna take my top board or imitation top of my cabinet and I'm going to hang it right there at that level and I'm gonna start it right there with that. That way that remains hidden. That's good and level. I'm gonna take my shelf support. Drill a hole in the center of the six inch side. Do a couple of those. All right, we set our shelf up. Level and mark. Looks like I have a stud right here. That's where I'm gonna put my first one. Take it up to your mark, put a screw in it. Looking good. All right, let's do the one where the microwave would sit. We're gonna have to lay this one out where the shelf meets the top of that hood as that's the way the microwaves and the hoods are designed to be. So I'm gonna wanna place this shelf right there. Four foot level and make some marks. All right, let's place our other two shelf arms. Make sure you're hitting your stud. and secure. Nice. Now my walls are really out of square, 1963 house. So you may choose to 45 your corner. I think it's gonna be best if we butt the two corners together just because the walls are so far out. If I can't get an exact 45 on that, it's gonna look funky. It's all good with the hood. Now let's find out where I have to stop for the fridge. I'm leveling straight up from the edge of this cabinet. Level it up and mark it. Use you a square to get you a nice clean cut. Cut side goes to the wall. Quick level. All right, now that I got my shelves level, I wanna secure the shelf arms to them. Now I'm gonna secure the arm to the top with an inch and a quarter wood screw. Great. We also want to get one up in the top of the arm here that we can just wood fill and paint over. That's really going to give it the stability it needs. Also throw another one in the back. Now 
Nice. Wall cabinets are 30 inches tall, so we need to measure 30 inches down from the top to get the position of our lower board. So I don't really think we're gonna put a shelf right here. I don't like it, and just the way with the way the studs work out, I'd have to have two support brackets. I think it's just a waste, so we're gonna move on over here. Now I'd like to run this corner and head off to it this way, and if I let them share the support, then it's really gonna work out well. Let's go ahead and level the shelves over. Get your brackets laid out at your studs. Okay, you can see I'm kind of sharing this support bracket with this other board. Looking good, and we're gonna secure those down. We're gonna carry over our lower shelf. board is going to end right level with this one here, but this one's going to go all the way to the wall. I'm going to leave this one open so you can put your little canister of utensils there because my stove is going right here. Of course, you're going to have to work it out for whatever layout you have and what works best for you. Up top. Now that these are secure, we can carry it over to the next wall. Now we get the sides of our brackets. All right, I got my last support arms hung. Thread these, I'm gonna come within two inches of the window, the same as I did on the other side. You take a level and push them all down. With our hood up and all our shelves hung, let's get these shelves filled up with dishes. So that's it. We rocked this kitchen. It looks amazing. Super easy. And let's face it, cabinet doors are so 10 years ago. And it forces you to get new dishes. So for Home Mender Inc., this is Dustin. I hope you learned something today. And if you did, don't forget to click subscribe. Thanks for watching.